Hey there, and welcome back to Cursed Seeds, an educational monster train series where we struggle through the toughest challenges around. I'm a little annoyed at Shiny Shoe right now because they keep deleting the seeds that keep getting submitted. No matter what I do, it seems to be an impossibility for me to keep them afloat, even if I open them. I don't know. I think the only thing that keeps them active for a little while longer appears to be if someone plays them, which obviously doesn't work in my case because I have to record them and I'm playing so much Monster Train as it is. So I'm annoyed. We lost another, I think it was a handful, not too many, but a handful. So I am prioritizing the back of the log in an attempt to make sure that we get to the ones that don't get deleted at this point. So here we are swinging back to a Windleton. I am still valuing also just trying not to play the same champion too many times on the channel. I think that that obviously is a good choice. People get tired of seeing the same thing so often. It's one of the reasons I desynced my Train of Thought and Trainwreck series so that there is enough of a split there so that we're not playing the same champion twice and then moving on, right? So we're doing our best. I was told that this run, which is Windleton with Queen's Impling, quote unquote, might not be the worst low roll, but it was pretty tough and it would be great to see how I approach it. Okay, fair enough. I think that is an entirely reasonable take here for this series, and I'm more than happy to go through it. Obviously, there have been some other players on this particular run, so we've got at least four winners in kind of the same ballpark here. This is interesting because... I mean, look how close these are. These are all pretty solid wins, but not the highest of high rolls. These are definite still relentless killers, meaning you're winning in relentless on Divinity and Seraph. You're not actually pre-relentless killing. This 59k is pretty close. This person might have gotten early. I'm not really sure. They might have had a really refined run or something, or maybe just got lucky and picked a path that had a much better play on it or something like that. But regardless, it's hard to say. There obviously are pretty secure lines here. The most interesting thing to me, however, is the loss position of these runs. These are all mid-game losses, almost certainly. 12k, I'm pretty sure that has to be after Daedalus or Talos for sure. I actually think that also has to be after Ring 4. So maybe these are Ring 5 through Arcus kills or something like that. Really hard to say. But very interesting nonetheless. I do find that, and it's interesting, I'll say this here, Windle 10 sometimes peters out a little bit at ring 6 if you don't have a strong relentless strategy. Because Arcus hits like a truck, right? Or if maybe it's Rage Fell, hard to say. But Arcus hits like a truck, and if you only have so much hit points, you're, you're just going to get smashed, right? You need a very competent front line, some kind of survivability line into relentless, which is important. So... We'll see what we're shown. We will make sure to try to answer that, though. So, yeah, we're currently on a 20-win streak. We had a very fun glacial seal infused into lodestone totem setup for some strong wave clearing, while a plus 50% attack titan channel did crunch relentless. There was a much stronger line in that run, which is interesting to think about. You had minor refraction available with a multi-strike incant armor 2 siren of the sea, which could have been infused with the lodestone totem as well. That was obviously the strongest pick. I think if you kind of hold out for that, you do get rewarded. But I also think holding out for that is incorrect. I'm pretty confident what we did was the safe choice. And obviously it won, so it's good. But I think what we did was safe and is what you probably should do if you see that run in the wild, right? I think that if you maybe read too hard into the challenge link, you might assume that there's some kind of a high roll tucked away somewhere and because of that you might kind of hold out longer than you should maybe take a little early damage and then power up from there so i don't know i think that run was very good so hopefully you agree but we're back on it now and yeah so we're gonna go ahead and get started so as always do like comment and subscribe if you haven't already I think we just crossed 1800 on the channel, which is incredible. I'm extremely excited about that. My next goal right now is 2000. So hopefully I can create content cool enough for y'all to subscribe and we can get some big, big numbers. I don't know. It just seems fun. It's fun looking at that and being like, ooh, we can make the next big one, right? I don't know. That seems cool. So 
Anyway, that's as much as I'm going to talk about that. Let's go ahead and see how Windleton treats us today. I did remember to turn off mods. Look at me go. All right. Hope you're all doing well today. I'm doing just fine. Nothing particularly exciting to report otherwise. It is another early morning for me trying to get this recording in. I did wait a little bit so that I'd be a little more cognizant. That is the right word, right? I believe, yes, that's the correct word. Basically, I want to make sure you understand what the heck I'm saying. There are certainly times when I record so early that my voice is hoarse and my articulation is poor. But right now, I feel pretty good. So let's go ahead and get in on this. Why are you slow? Speed up. Thank you. Today we are Exile Awoken, Exile Hellhort. Obviously it would be better if we had torches, but Queen Zimplings are fine. It's fine, right? I don't mind this too terribly much. We have Windleton, so we'll have to think about that. We have Rage Talos. It is Arcus. It's Rage Arcus too, so this is a high damage output combat. And then we have Sap Seraph with Sting, Hornbreak, Awake. It's easy to get stuck with Windleton, doing something like quick sweep on him, and then the floor is weak and flimsy, and you have a quick sweeper, and it's strong, quote unquote, but it doesn't punch through thousands of hit points strong. That's probably the suffering that people are dealing with here. I think it's a very common pitfall for this champion. Anyway, we'll see. Our cards are good. We have Sting, Hornbreak, and Awake. A good heal is solid, stings are basically free cards, and then Hornbreak is an exceptional ping, probably my favorite in the game. So really, these are great. I'm happy to see them. Temple-wise, we have a temple on two, five, six, seven, and eight. So very backloaded, which is interesting. Five temples is great. We should stay low on shards unless we get a lot of value out of them then. The dupe on eight is steel side, which is fine. Nothing fancy otherwise. A good magic shop on seven with caverns and vortex. There is a steel shop available if needed. There's a decent trinket shop on six. Magic shop. A bad dupe on five with caverns and boons. It's okay, but probably pretty weak. I really want to go to the steel shop, which is steel vortex horde. That's solid. There is a Vortex Awoken Banner horde on four if I need it. It's a pretty good setup, honestly, if I need this unit. The dupe is on the opposite side. Again, another pretty bad dupe. We'll see. We do have double steals in the early game, double magics as well. There's an Awoken banner on the steel side on two, and a Hellhorn banner on the magic side on two. It's interesting because with this clan combo, unless you high roll imp nonsense or something, you probably want Hellhorn banners because you can see good defensibility, right? It's going to depend on a few factors. Let's look at our horde first. Queen's Tail is going to be the click here for sure, because that basically turns my Queen Zimplings into free card draws, which are exceptional. That's incredible. Jack Strips is fine, but doesn't beat Queen's Tail here. And then we have Strangler or Thornlord. Well, I think the right choice here is probably Strangler. We could see some nonsense with Rage. We don't have it in our opener, though. That's important. This makes us stronger right now. More importantly, the reason I don't lean Thornlord here is actually the Queen Zimplings, right? Even though our redraws are really strong for Thornlord, I mean, there's only there's so many units here. They all go away and we draw pretty quickly right now. You don't have a lot of synergy on that, right? I, I, this doesn't look, I don't look at this and go, oh yeah, that's great. Strangler, I think, is the right pick. It's a little risky. It does mean we can take this horde, though, at least, which is something. <laughs> Look at that, thorn fruit. Well, I mean, on the one hand, it's fine. I actually, <laughs> hilariously, I actually think thorn casing is stronger here because I already have stings. Thorn fruit is okay, but it clogs my deck. And I don't have diligent. I actually think it is thorn casing, believe it or not. Kind of weird, we already have the stings, so I'm okay with that. I can comfortably take the Mark of Invasion, I'm not really worried, there are a lot of draws here that answer this, so it's okay. Yeah, I mean, we just sting the bad guy, we put a Train Steward in front, then we drop Windleton, clearing that. I will just shoot one of the guys on middle. Well, you could just shoot this Forge Disciple, but he is going to get healed it over time. So, and it doesn't really matter. I'd rather save the incoming damage, honestly. 
cool. Give me top floor. Incredible. Top floor is great. I will... Queen Dimpling up top. It's a free card draw. It's good. I will sting middle. That's such a strong hit. Big fan. I probably ought to put one Queen Zimbling up top, save more of this HP. Good. And then I should Queen Zimpling. I mean, it doesn't matter. I actually think Scaling for Relentless is a considerably better choice here. We'll redraw these imps on a future turn. They will be fine. Yeah, we're going to ping out the Trusted Priest here. That's for sure. I would like to play a Queen Zimpling, because it's a free card draw, and then I think I'm just drawing two cards here. Right, I think that just makes a lot of sense. Cool. Alright. We are going to Sting up top. That's good. How curious. I could get a kill here, potentially, with the Queen Zimpling horn break. You could just Sting front as well. How do I feel about that? I would like to... I could also put the Train Steward in front here and just tank this whole wave, which is honestly really good. Yep, cool. I'm going to Queen Zimpling the boss then, and then we're just going to Sting the boss. I think that's good. I'm not really worried about the top floor here, so I will just double horn break him as well. That's a lot of damage to get in on turn one there. We're in a pretty comfortable spot, I think. I mean, the, the turns become root seeds at this point. There's not much in the way of decision making. And we almost lose here, which is wild. I will put the Queen Zimpling in front, I believe. Although the Train Steward is really good here. Believe it or not, the Train Steward takes two rounds. That's an additional 44 damage, which is pretty good. The Queen Zimpling represents solid amount. I guess I could shoot the Queen Zimpling, yeah? Pretty decent. I can actually get this kill just pretty comfortably by shooting him twice here and then, yeah, okay, well, we'll just do the obvious thing. Do the one that easier has easier math, is the way I'll say it. There are other solutions to that combat, though. We are fine. Now, Glimmer is going to be okay. We have a Sweeper already. Having some kind of scaling is probably good. I will have also a very high card draw, so things like Steel Enhancer are okay. I don't need Vine Grasp. I think I'm going to grab the Steel Enhancer. It's just a fine card to grab for the moment. It's okay. Sure. Weak Hard Click Ritual. You always grab the first scaling card you can see. And in this particular case, this is interesting because I feel pretty motivated to go to the Magic Shop here because I want a Hellhorn Banner, right? Steelworker is a good answer to this run. I can backline power up Wendleton with the Ritual and Root Seeds. And then I can frontline steel worker self infuse for some scaling defense that might actually beat Arcus or something, right? And I also want to reduce the cost of my ritual in case I see an X5 or something. It's a really good target. And we also have more choices coming up. So I really think it's going to the right here. Yeah. A very interesting decision point in this run. Spell chain intrinsic. Neither are particularly great. Steelworker, excellent. Honestly, perfect. Great news. I could double stack here. It's not bad, but I think if I'm going to consider an X5, the minus one, minus one will be stronger. Honestly. And then I just make more of these cards, and this is very powerful. This is a solid line that wins, so that's good. I will reroll here. Remove consume is non-functional. So we just make ritual of battle cost one. That's great. I'm good with it. And that is honestly a big power up here. Spell chain. I mean, spell chain steel enhancers. Okay. This is really low impact though. Intrinsic. I don't see a value in this either. No, I'm not seeing it. Sadly, we didn't get a plus 10. I would have put a plus 10 in one of these horn breaks, but it's okay. I don't want to I don't want to consume them. They're too good of cards. So we'll chill on our cash, I suppose. We should be powerful enough for right now, though. Like, I'm not worried about this unit draft. We're okay. We can blast through this. We didn't take any shards. We are just chilling. And we have this wonderful steel worker right now, so that's good. He's going to do great work. We just blast this Queen Zimpling. Sure, Root Seeds seems good. Armor. 
Okay, we'll play the Steel Enhancer. I'm going to greed for money. I think it's okay. And I do think playing Root Seeds is a better choice than playing the Sinner's Burdens. It's cool. Fine. I want to stop some of this incoming damage. I think the Sting on middle is the best, though. It just kills a man, which is really good. I also think I want to play a Queen Zimpling. It's good to do so. I shoot another dude. I think that's great. I can get this train steward out to actually hit. That's cool too. We're taking a bit of damage, of course. Not great to do so, but we'll be fine. I can kill a guy with this sting, which I value considerably. I do want to play the ritual. We'll take the free queen zimpling. And then it's just a matter of root seeds, root seeds, I believe. We just need to draw around to that card again. Steelworker doing excellent work. Sting the enemy. I actually think we definitely Queen Zimpling here. I'm going to shoot both back lines on this moment because I think that they scare me a bit. And we'll take a Root Seeds. This should make us very comfortable. We just ignore these bad things in my deck. We shoot. Easily get the kill. No problem. Good. It's not super clean, but it's fine. We easily have the tools to navigate this combat freely. Wildwood Sap. I'm looking at armor. A sting, honestly, a third sting is pretty darn good with this thorn casing situation. I, I, these cards are going to be good, so I will take this. Uh, it's better than a skip. Glimmer is a consideration. Glimmer is a good consideration, actually, because what if you never see quick? We should take Glimmer. Don't, don't mess around. We take the Glimmer. Okay, Molting Imp, important work, or Hornbreak number three. Not great, in fact. Not great. These are not the picks, I don't believe. I don't think we do the Molting Imp here. I already have the pings. An important work. We're not leaning Imp, sadly. The Queen's Tail is just to accelerate me, so I skip that. Interesting choices. Animus of Will? Hmm. I mean, you could do some nonsense with Animus of Will infusion into Steelworker, I suppose. Kind of weird. Railbeater is fine. I'm a fan of him. He's a decent front line. We could stick Steelworker in that. How curious. Am I going to the magic shop again? I don't think so. I already have the ritual at one cost if I see the X5. Although a holdover would be nice. Maybe I see a plus 30 on a glimmer somewhere. But... I don't think these are it. This is weird because this if I don't take Animus, I'm essentially saying that Windleton has to be my line. Does he though? It's a great question. We could just as easily take Animus as the line behind a Steelworker, right? Or even infused with the Steelworker, yeah? And then it hits three times. I'd be more inclined to go that route if we saw a Fledgling Imp. Because Fledgling Imp would scale a floor, which I think is strong. And then could frontline as well. Chump block, essentially. The problem, of course, right now is that we're looking at... We have Ritual, which is a single target buff. So I'm looking to scale one guy, not two guys. Like two Animus of Wills, or three, potentially. Plus Kermit is fine. But it's, I mean, Husk Hermit is essentially an infusible version of Windleton that doesn't have the, the lockdown, which is okay. It's weird because all three units of these are good. These are good units, and I should make sure that if I skip them, I'm happy not using them for the whole run. I like leaning into Windleton when possible, but we might not be able to. I might need to do Steelworker nonsense it's funny because self-infused steelworker is only so durable it's not actually that powerful in the end it's just 10 armor a floor i mean per turn it's not that much hp in the end so kind of an interesting question is that good enough with ritual i mean that that basically banks on seeing the quick upgrade on ring four if you miss that you might look real nasty you might be looking at like Strangler 2 or something. And I don't know about Thornlord. Thornlord might actually be a fine pivot, really, because of the stings and the thorn casing at this point. I might take that. I literally have two stings, so I could use Glimmer in that case. 
in which case I'd need to prepare for a backline answer, so Steelworker would be the infusion. I think taking Animus of Will is correct. Yeah, this is a tough one, but I think taking the Animus of Will here is correct as a buffer to the we don't have quick on ring four situation. Now, do I go to the steel shop? What do they show me here? Endless is a what? I endless a queen zimpling. That's pretty nasty. It could be a multi strike on the animus. Am I gonna lean in on that? I don't think I might. It's not bad to do so, but it's also kind of like, I mean, you look at this. Am I going to not take a single unit upgrade until ring five? That seems like a bad choice, friend. That seems like a bad choice. The Hellhorn banner could be what? Railbeater? I already skipped him, so I don't think that's going to be it. Although Railbeater with an Animus of Wheel does kind of change the calculus a little bit because getting that multi-strike could be really good. That's true. And he could kind of pummel floors a little bit, which is nice. Hmm. Well, I don't know. This is a toughie because you have to kind of answer the survivability aspects and some other things all at once. And we don't know what we see on Ring 4. This is honestly a great case study and why I think Wendleton is such a risky champion. Because the what we see on Ring 4 completely warps the correct choices here and we don't know what we see on ring four if you see quick then the correct choice is for sure steelworker self-infused in front as a tank with some plus 25s going left plus 25s are big value no matter what going right however minus ones are big value on root seeds they are essentially free cards Free accelerants, which I like. Gets me to this ritual faster. If I only ever have the one ritual, I want to see it as often as possible. Holdover is also functional. I can hold over the glimmer, and that will protect me against missing quick. So, Magic Shop is very powerful, okay? Left side, let's consider that. If we see a multi-strike, I might stick it in Animus. But the thing is, is I don't know the direction we're going. So, it could be thrown away, or a bad choice. Plus 25s are good no matter what. I'll take a plus 25 on Steelworker is just genuinely really strong. Worth noting, we don't have a temple here, so I can only go to 30 shards. And I will take this horde no matter what, because there are good hits. Things like Emblem of the Exiles are probably my favorite hit off of this. Just some free HP scaling. So I'm really learning and thinking that Magic Shop is strong, but the minus ones are guaranteed value here in a big way. Holdover has value on the Glimmer. And there are mad, there are units that they could show me. A second Steelworker saves me a self-dupe. Whereas the Steel Shop has just awkward choices. And I don't need the Pyre health because if I'm leaking to Pyre, I'm already losing thanks to Strangler. So we'll go to the right. This is weird. We're skipping both Steel Shops in the early game. I almost never do this. Holdover is very cool here. Consumer of Crowns. He's weird. This is the fabled consumer demon fiend banner. Holy crap. We see it. It's so terrible. Wow, is this bad. We're not taking either of these units. Consumer's not good here. These imps are going to die fast. We have no assurances. We see them early. He's not good. His infusion is extremely bad. In this particular moment, he is the worst possible unit. Demon Fiend is also literally unplayable. So we skip them. But take a look at this. Just screenshot this for me and post this in Discord. and Remind me how rare this is and how bad this is. Wow, that's tough. Well, at least we have some other units. If these were my only unit choices in this run, I think I would just be mad right now. Because Cursed Seeds that do this to me... That just ruins my day, but it's fine. We have units, so I'm going to just skip that and pretend I didn't see it. We're going to take the horde. Light, ooh, baby. Light's Gift or Resonant Shard. This is funny because Light's Gift is a great way to carry yourself to Arcus and then lose. Resonant Shard is very powerful, though. Especially with the Ritual. That just scales me faster. Bigger damage numbers. 
another really difficult decision because remember what if i see quick if i see quick then light's gift is irrelevant resonant shard is always relevant here worth noting however that light's gift is considerably stronger right now because it makes me very powerful into talos and this is rage talos so you know now i could just accelerate my run and see ritual faster and then dupe the ritual whenever i get a good opportunity which probably happens on ring four honestly and we have two of them and then that just becomes enough damage i think light's gift is the correct choice but yeah even with quick sometimes this can be useful too because let's say i'm not strong enough to auto kill right i can save a lot of incoming damage by doing it over two turns Granted, that bodes ill for my Relentless, but I'm looking at Light's Gift here. I think it's right. This is weird because we're getting a lot of strong pickups. I'm almost always buying this Holdover and Glimmer. There's no world I don't. A plus 10 is excellent here as well. Just saying it out loud. We're going to do the Holdover on Glimmer. I think this is correct. At a minimum, this will also heal my floor if I get slapped a bunch through my armor. So that's pretty good. We'll click it. It's good. So we do that. I take a minus one into... That's a difficult decision. I think a minus one root seeds is always correct, but I was considering a minus one plus ten horn break. I am going to take a plus ten in that horn break no matter what, but, you know, fair. A really good shot, by the way. Let's get the caverns. Give me an X5. Okay, no X5. Bone Dog is a bad choice here. I don't care about my health up top. I'm not leaking. Instead, the purge is actually really strong. We just burn a train steward right now. Although, I actually think you burn the awake right now. This is the least playable card. I have the glimmer on holdover, which I think is just stronger. Yeah, awake is the least playable. And the reason you do this is because awake is in your redraws and you might still see Malika's event after this, right? If I see Malika's event, I could just burn the train stewards for free. So we gift awake to Bone Dog here. Cool. Goodbye, dog. I don't think I've taken Bone Dog in a good long while. We move on at this point. We're very strong at this exact moment. I'm not worried about Talos. I might be worried about things after Talos. Like, we've got this on lock. We are looking for the survivability pick here, so we take Steelworker. I will play the Animus of Will because you never know. If she goes middle, we lose middle. All right, well, we, we lose middle. I will take the Root Seeds. I am going to play the Queen Zimpling. Just play it for free. Free Root Seeds. Not concerned about this unit up top. I do get to just cleave this out. She doesn't have pushback, which is good, so I'm going to shoot downstairs. We just lose mid-floor. It's fine. It's not the end of the world. Yeah, she rides up. Unfortunate. It's okay. I will ritual up top. It's good. I am going to Queen Zimpling middle. It's good. We don't need Glimmer right now. That's true. I'm going to sting downstairs and then shoot one of these guys to death and then shoot one of... I'll keep the imp on lock, actually. We'll just do five down there. Get rid of a train steward. Cool. The only thing that can really hit me at this point is... The only thing that can hit me is actually a Forge Disciple or Talos right now. We do want to keep playing these Queen Zimplings. Just draw me through. It's good. I can just shoot this man. I do 39, so instead we'll just Root Seeds. It's actually better. It's much stronger for me to accelerate to that ritual more. Yeah, so like we're not there yet, but it's fine. This is a big turn. I do get the ability to Sting, Sting, Shoot downstairs, which is quite strong. Cool. We now have gotten this enemy low enough that we can one-shot it. I do see the ritual. It's very strong. We'll take everything else here. Just give me stings or give me death. It's worth it to do 30 damage to Talos here instead of that card draw. We should have enough survivability to clock this. We are going to charge card draw. I will Queen Zimpling to free draw. Take that ritual. Excellent. I will sting the boss. Good. With this much damage on my floor, I feel pretty good. I need to duplicate this thing, though. Yeah, you see this doesn't look that great, actually, when you really get down to the brass tacks of it all. 
So we take the root seeds. We lose our front line, but we do get through this. We're doing enough damage. It's not great. We need to improve our rage numbers badly. True. Rage numbers need to go up. Reinforce might actually be the pick here. Although alloy is also really good. Reinforce is how you get enough survivability into a Relentless. We're going to do it. And we also generate the armor already. So I think we're okay with that. Horned Warrior, Hollows, unplayable in this scenario. I'm happy with this setup in the moment, I believe. So I will skip here. The Light's Gift gives me a lot of choices. Card draw is good. Ember is also good. What, what is this? Rage Arcus? It is Rage Arcus. Ember is really good, but I've seen some good magic shops here. I actually think card draw is better for the moment. And we have the Queen's Impling, so they were getting played out. I'm going left, as weird as it is, because I want another one of these rituals. I need to improve the ritual situation. And right now, this will get me it. This gives me a lot of value. I also can just stay low on a lot of things. We see the Predator. It's not ideal. We still click it. This means post Arcus, we will have multi-strike on Predator, which is excellent. Right now, Arcus is the biggest fear factor. We click on the duplicate on Ritual here. Good. I could buy, take money. Money. I think we need some plus 25s. Removals are strong. We go to the right on ring five. I think so, for sure. We're going to just hard send it. I'm not going to take the money. I'm chilling on shards here. We can backload everything. Aggressive amulet does not scare me. Although I may get bogged down a bit with curses, a little unfortunate. We take the Windleton here, Steel Enhancer, Animus. I will shoot the Cursed Dude here. I think it's good. I also will take the Root Seed simply to draw through. It's better than playing the Train Steward in this moment. Cool. We get Steel Worker. I will put down... I am putting down the Queen something downstairs. It's important. We root seeds, root seeds. These are critical pickups. I need to draw through. Okay, we go by Animus. It's fine. All right, we have the ritual. That's important. I can sting. Well, we're going to Queen Zimpling for sure. I'm doing 54. I'm not as afraid of this guy because despite the spikes, he doesn't actually like hurt that much. And 64, 64, he'll die next turn maybe, probably. Well, 54, 54 kills middle. I think I should sting up top, actually, now that I'm looking at it. Yeah, and I really think I need to kill these cursed dudes because these guys are big problems. I've already played an imp, right? Yeah, I have. All right, we're going to kill the cursed dude, and it will be fine. Now, the back guys get hit twice here. Good. I do think it is double ritual. I just 10 times out of 10. We need to play the queen zimpling. It's smart to do so. I also think we sting middle. Doesn't really matter actually. We'll sting we'll sting middle. I am gonna just keep shooting the cursed dudes though. That is a good pickup. We don't have a lot in the way of survivability. We are looking to improve it. We just need to scale faster. Play the Queen's Impling here. I should shoot some stuff. Getting rid of Brain Steward is pretty good here. Just get him shot. That's decent. Ah, it's true. We'll just get him shot. Okay, now we want to shoot back lines 10 times out of 10. We take the Queen Zimpling here. I do double sting the boss. It's smart. We take Root Seeds. I believe I need to see the rage fast. Yeah, we just take the root seeds. I don't want to play these train stewards. It's okay. One cursed dude, unfortunate. We do see Steel Enhancer, Ritual, Ritual. I mean, I have to play those cards. How am I feeling? I mean, we play the root seeds at least. That's good. How am I feeling about this ping versus the weight of contrition? I see a reinforce on this next turn. Reinforce is pretty good. I'm probably playing the reinforce for the extra survivability here. Just looking at the numbers. I need to get four rounds in. So I either take the curse now or the curse later. 
I'll play the curse now. This will give me some flexibility. I think I'm playing this reinforced though. Just look at the numbers. We'll see. We actually win. Okay, so this was why I did this because if I needed the survivability, I could just trap and drop this reinforce right now. But because I actually win, I don't have to do it, which is pretty cool. So I avoid all damage here. Good job. Cool. Staying under 50 paid off here. We would probably be done on that combat. If not, we're looking to improve our floor. Cycle of Life is an important card here. It adds max hit points. I'll take it. This does make my floor a bit expensive, potentially, but it's okay. We'll do this. I want to go to magic shops eventually anyway. Uh, Inferno is a good card. How am I feeling about Battering Ram? Again, too expensive. We're looking at... We're doing too much here. Too much. We're going to skip. Inferno is a great card, by the way. Skipping it is usually wrong, but waves are the least scary part. I need to draw around fast. We're going to the right. I believe this is going to be big power-up mode. I need some plus 25s. Those are just literally full rounds against Arcus. Yeah, plus 25 into my Steelworker. Incredible. Great job. Removal. I might cut some stuff here, unfortunately. Burst Hell Pact Sketches. The hell is this? Sketches is a great way of losing. I guess we click first hell pack. There are still X cost cards we could see that would be really strong here. Both spikes are fine. Could see something out of a cavern. We'll click it. It's okay. A plus 30 on the glimmer is probably really strong. Okay, that's good. No minus two, sadly. I was kind of hoping for it. I do think we need to cut train stewards here. They are very difficult to play. You see, I'm just leaving them in multiple times. Obviously, if I had taken Ember, that wouldn't have been a problem, but it's fine. I am re-rolling this. Just give me another plus 25. Honestly, optimal. Honestly, that's what we like to see. I should have also maybe considered going left duping and self-infusing the steelworker but i don't think we need to make that call right now animus of will however just actually does nothing here she is going away she is for sure my 60 purge on this one there's just no reason to play her right she should go yeah i'm never putting rage into steelworker right now although i guess i could How am I feeling about that? That's weird. You could do this infusion, flip them around right now. This does actually nothing for me later, though. I think we definitely cut her, right? There's, there's just no world I'm doing this right now. We can reinforce to create a strong win con. Yeah, we'll cut her. And now I will stay, I think, low on shards, right? Oh, actually, no, the plus 30 here is big. Yeah, we, we definitely take the plus 30 at least. That's That's good. Otherwise, we just kind of chill on most of this stuff. There's nothing I really want here, so fine. All right, cool. We move on. 45 shards in a ring five. It's low, but we have backloaded shards, so I actually feel pretty good. We can take the Mark of Invasion comfortably here, no problem. We're looking to buy turns, by the way, so we should leave our train stewards in, actually. Kind of as weird as that maybe seems. We did get a lot of survivability, though. I love that. I should burn Queen Zimplings, get these kills. I think leaving in the train stewards is actually super correct. This is Harpy's guard, so there's no enemy behind the boss. We'll just shoot here. The Queen Zimplings are card draws. I guess I could get rid of them. I might as well. There's no reason to hold on to them. The train stewards, however, are important. We'll just put it that way. I'm going to glimmer middle. I want the money, it turns out. I will also... Root seeds up top for sure. I'm not playing the Queen Zimpling yet. I'm gonna sting bottom actually. It's okay. We should be able to get through a lot of this. I'm looking to sting up top, root seeds, cycle of life, honestly, but I'm gonna Queen Zimpling downstairs or around rather middle. I will cycle of life here. The 10 is valuable and dropping glimmer, which I'm okay with, right? I'm not I'm not concerned about it. All right, cool. We get double rituals here. This kills at least the front dude, which is great news. Take that steel enhancer. I actually think we hold on to our units to the best of our ability. The sting goes... I don't know. Honestly, bottom? I mean, that actually doesn't matter. We'll do it on middle to shoot that man, I suppose. We're holding out. We're holding out for HP. 
Crazy enough, by the way, I know you're thinking about this, hmm, this is strange, but the quick and the, the quick plus the days is giving me two rounds. I'm taking no damage as a result, by the way. Remember, we're dealing with bosses here. We want to make sure we delay turns. Double root seeds is valuable right now. Cool. Okay. We're looking to buy turns. Yeah, we get this queen zumpling down. Seems good. That's three rounds, baby. We will sting, sting there. I am root seeds up top. We're technically, we're definitely doing double ritual as well. It's good. I'm also going to just draw a card or do 30 damage to the boss. We take this five because of the extinguish. No way around it. Uh, honestly, I'm going to do 30 to the boss in truth. 10 card draw here. I'm going to play the reinforce next turn, I think. I think this 30 is important enough. We'll do it. I think it's good. Good. Three turns down. Love to see it. I do get a train steward, but it's not offering enough here. Cool. I am going to... Oh, wow. I didn't hit the re reinforce. That's actually good because I can take the cycle of life here now, which is cool. The one train steward does nothing, actually. Still, we delayed enough, I think. Yeah, we get through this. She's scary, though, okay? And when I say scary, I mean, like, genuinely scary. We can take 35 HP here. It's something. I'm going to click it because it's important to look at my stats. Not very good, frankly. Those three rounds we did are actually really important. Cool. Okay, cool. We get through the snow issues. Great. Preserved Thorns is kind of disgustingly powerful, actually. I consider taking an additional sting. More of these guys is just like, I mean, five of them just kills the dude. It's hard to say no to this card, especially with the thorn casing. Just really good. Awake, no. Focus growth, no. We'll take stings instead. That's good. Impish Scholar. Impish Scholar is a free draw. Technically, this also lets me loop reinforce. Although I now also do have one other consume card or two other consume cards. Rather, preserve thorns. I think it's the only one, right? That's true. The Impish Scholar is a pretty good pickup, actually. I think I'll grab him. He is a technically a free draw as well, so that's good. Now, going left is useful, I think. Maybe I see a remove consume or something. Relic-wise, I've already kind of missed some of the most important ones. I think I'm going to go left. The minus ones are going to prove worthwhile. Yes, for sure. Temple says a plus 30, plus 10 in piercing. Honestly, I'm not going to click either of those. I don't see the value in it. I am... Remove Consuming Reinforce. Yep. That is the run, for sure. We take Ember after this. Yeah. I'm not going to mess around. I need to be able to play this right now. So we just remove Consume Reinforce, get it down to three costs so it's playable. And that's really strong. We're going to plus ten the other Horn Break. This card is good. I will re-roll. The minus ones are big. I'm not going to do stack stone here. Honestly, the minus ones in the root seeds are better than anything Cycle of Life offers. Now that I have reinforced, Cycle of Life actually probably gets removed. I should consider a plus 10 into Hornbreak. At 50 piercing is a really good card. 30 is the important threshold. 40 is rarely important, but... You may as well take a 50. It's hard to say no to that. This card's just solid. I do think we actually cut the cycle of life now that I have the reinforce on holdover. Or not holdover, but you know what I mean. Remove, consume. Train stewards, I can eventually cut them. They're fine. I am going to burn this cycle of life that I just took. Well, I have enough temples coming up. I actually think it's a really good minus two target. So I think burning a train steward is actually better. These cards are pretty tough to play otherwise. Sure. Let's respect. I think we should respect Arcus here and cut both train stewards and then lean hard. We aren't going to take anything here. My plan is to go left on eight dupe steelworker self-infuse, which is 70 shards, which means I need to take the 15 15s, which is good, which also means I should leave open. Oh, I have stings, so I have magic power targets no matter what. Okay, we're fine. So I don't have to take anything from this temple. Not that I'd want to anyway. Yeah, two people died on Arcus. I think Arcus is a completely reasonable location to perish here. But I think with Reinforce, we will be fine. I am 
quite unconcerned by it, actually. We play top, of course. Really good turn one with that ritual. I will play a Queen Zimpling, bait it out. And I will burn the Preserved Thorns here and just... The incant on middle, yeah, and just hard shoot bottom floor. Very strong draw nine cards. We're taking draw Ember for sure, by the way, in case there were any doubt. Root Seeds, Ritual, Queen Zimpling for sure. Root Seeds, it's free. I will double Sting here. It's good. Yep, I also think that Root Seeds is a good pickup. Although I already draw 10, so instead just play the Queen Zimpling out. Just get rid of it. Okay, we're going to get the nasty incant shard up top, I think, here. Yeah, we get it. That's actually okay. I will... Yikes, I'm going to sting middle. It's at least something. I can't play the reinforce here, unfortunately. So what I will do is just shoot the scary enemy, I suppose. I'm not playing Glimmer here. I will redraw cards. I'm going to stick a Root Seeds in the back, I suppose. Yeah, an unfortunate turn, but I knew I would get it. I'm looking to draw a round again. Fine. What is this? Curse? All right, we'll take the Sting up top. I am just going to double Sting this lad, and then we do double Ritual. That's good scaling. I think we should play the other Queen Zimpling. We're looking to improve our draw here. I need to start... I need to play, like, Reinforce, like, three times right now. We play the Impish Scholar. Cool. I'm going to... This is in camp bottom. I'm just going to sting out middle then. I'm going to root seeds. I will preserve the thorns, but I actually think I will leave it in for now. Oddly. Yeah, oddly. I think we just take the scaling at this point. I mean, it's weird because I already have 10 card draw right now, so we're okay. He's gonna drop a curse up top, I think it is. Yeah, cool. That's okay because today is the reinforce. We need to get this number up. We reinforce here for sure. And then I need to just sting around to the best of my ability. Cool. Sting, sting. Just draw me to that reinforce again, and we'll be okay. Play this ritual. I just need to sting. It's really just sting 500 times, pretty much. Just shoot them. It's great. And then this is an incant, so I will just horn break in the back. It's fine. I'm not using the glimmer right now because, well, our run kind of migrated away from it. We do get the reinforce. Excellent. I'll take the card draw now. Excellent. I'm going to sting the boss because he scares me. I would like to see that card again. Please and thank you. Root Seeds. Honestly, now is the best turn to take this Preserved Thorns. We just load it up into the boss here. We take the Horn Break on him. We draw 10. I have a good shot of seeing it. Cool. We get out of this combat. Thanks in large part to Reinforce. Woof. 300 incoming damage. He hits me 10 times. My damage is not good. This gets a lot better when I actually have multi-strike on our back line and also a lot better when we have... What is the word I'm looking for? Plus one ember. Plus one ember. Spike of the Hellhorned is a great card here. I took the first hell pact specifically for this, so we're going to click it. I take ember here 10 times out of 10. I think we clean up for sure. I go to the right, Magic Shops, again, valuable here. I already hit everything I want. I don't need Endless because I have the Remove Consume. Yeah, we go right. Removals here are, I believe, straightforward. Probably just Queen Zimplings, maybe, actually. More plus 30s, more Sorrow. I don't know about this Intrinsic, though, but I have to take some stuff. Magic Shop says, hold over again. Well, I don't know. I'm going to keep doing minus ones in the root seeds because I think that card is pretty good. And I'll toss this plus 10 into horn break again. Right, that's just a good pickup. Yeah, I like that. What is this holdover doing for me? Caverns. I will trade fire health for a relic here. Trader's Quill. Sure, why not? It's something. I am using at least one of those. It might matter. The removals, I actually do think we cut Cycle of Life right now. I think so. 
yeah, it's time. Goodbye, cycle of life. If there, if there was a plus two literally in this temple, it would have survived that, but no, there was not. Glimmer is an okay com helper. I probably won't need it all that often, but, you know, it'll be fine. The next cut is actually probably Steel Enhancer. Yeah, I think so. If it doesn't draw me cards, I don't really want it. And I have the Ember now. Yeah, goodbye, Steel Enhancer. It helped for the time when I had it. Truly. Truly. I have to take this plus 30, I think, unfortunately. Because I need 15, 15, and then 25. Which is, so that's 15, 15 is 30. 25 is 55. So I get to 100 exactly. Yeah, so I have to take the magic power. I mean, I don't know. It's fine. A 50 damage sting is pretty good, actually. It's okay. And then we forge. This will help us a lot. We take Predator 2. We get the second hit. Good. Pretty solid run. This holdover, I don't feel strongly about. You can hold over that sting. I'm just going to reroll this and take the minus one, though. I mean, actually, I can remove consume the health spike here for pretty good value. Is that good enough? I actually like this card going away, I think. It's a good little injection. Extra ember, potentially. I mean, is it still worth playing like this? I mean, this is basically a zero cost, four armor, four rage. It's like bad in flame that I pay 100 gold for. The card is only functional here because of first hell pact and the fact that it goes away. So I just make root seeds free instead, and we're okay with that. And I chill on my money, I think. And we move on. I feel like I did buy the minus. Yeah, I did buy that plus 15. Cool. Right, and we have 15, 25 coming up. Dupe, Steelworker, Self-Infused, Steelworker. Buy the 15. I can always take the 15 because I have space and a sting. Yes, okay, we're fine. We move on now. Yeah, so I feel like we're in reasonably good shape here. I don't, I'm not worried about aggressive amulet on this one. We have answered survivability, and we have kind of answered everything else, which is good. We get the multi-strike. It's solid. I click the ritual because it's good. We burn the imp. I do just kind of play everything else here. It's strong, it turns out. And we can actually blast this front guy, which is unreal, but sometimes it happens that way. We have the glimmer in an emergency is the way that I will describe this run. Do I expect to actually need the Glimmer all that often? No, I don't. But that's okay. That's like, it's fine, right? I'm not that worried about it. I should just play out these imps when I see them. And I have the ability to do so. 120, we already killed that guy. So I'm just going to work on bottom floor here. Impish Scholar will hold out for, I don't know, something. Cool. We're, we're looking okay. This is an important, just click the armor whenever you get it we need to accelerate so this is a, an easy turn we take the queen's impling free draw i will take the reinforce yes ritual yes i will take the rich the armor thing in back that's fine i'm gonna sting middle looking okay we just need to accelerate the armor at any point even plus 10 is fine draw cards ritual back Staying middle because I want to stop these hits from coming in. And otherwise we just send it. I, I don't see an issue here. We'll get through. I, I play reinforce whenever I card draw into it. Drop the queen zimpling here. Sure, sure. We get a bunch of stings, I guess. I will take the impish scholar. Sure. I'm going to blast here. I have so many stings in my run. Which is... Kind of silly when you think about it, but we're just going to clear this floor off the back of Stings, which is pretty cool. <laughs> it's a re They're really good cards, actually, when you have this many of them. Although they do hurt my card draw a little bit. It's fine, though, right? We click the Reinforce. I need these numbers to go up. Draw a card. Cool. I Not much in the way of card options here. I am going to shoot in the front. We just sting this man 500 times and 500 times more. I'm not worried about the conduit here. I'm looking to hopefully hit my reinforce. 
I do hit it, not that I needed it. Cool. Staying low on shards provides obvious value to this run. We double our damage on this combat as well, which is really important. And otherwise, I think we're good for Arcus and these... I mean, not Arcus, Seraph and these others. I might consider cutting the Scholar because getting... I'm at a stage where I think I actually run into having too many stings with how much card draw I have, right? I don't want a second Preserved Thorns, actually, is like a major problem. I could use it on the Spike, potentially, but Preserved Thorns is really strong until you have too many of them. You saw some of my hands there. I actually think we probably cut the Imp if I'm given the option. I don't want these cards. We skip them. Although, Restoring Retreat. Well, I'm just going to self-infuse the Steelworker. I don't, I don't have the ability to make another one. We're fine. Last Stand. That's a good card. I'm going to click that. That speeds me up pretty quickly. I am going to the left. Do not let me forget. Yep, we are duping. Where are you, lad? Steelworker. I'm going to go infuse Steelworker right now. This will speed me up on the reinforce quite a bit as well. Yep. I have to take that plus 30. There's just no choice. Fine, we're going to make second big sting. 250 damage stings is better than 180 damage sting, in case you're asking. Because you get... Railhammer is really strong. Excellent. Actually, honestly, Railhammer and then also Scorch Steel is really strong here, too. Uh, the reason for it, by the way, is because if I draw both of them, I can kill a 100 damage unit. If I draw one of them, I potentially... Well, it's kind of the same. 80-20, 50-50, but like 50-50 is a better split, I think. Fine. Unit drafts are irrelevant here. I think I will take the Scorch Steel, actually. And then I remove a card. I could remove... Let's remove a card first. What am I cutting? I might actually cut the Preserved Thorns now that my deck is in this current state, which is pretty cool. I Believe it or not, I actually think cutting Preserved Thorns is pretty good. It's unfortunate I didn't get a minus two. I was really hoping for it. We have an expensive deck here, sadly. I think if I'm cutting two cards, one of them is probably the one cost root seeds because that card is just hard to play, oddly enough. And then the other is preserved thorns because I don't want to redraw stings. That That's too many stings. It's just too many. Playing preserved thorns once is okay. Playing it twice actually hurts my deck. So we are going to cut the one cost root seeds, actually. I think I'm just going to remove two cards, maybe. Nine armor is probably not as good as just improving my draw speed here. I actually think Scorch Steel is correct. I'm going to click that. Yeah, I thought about it briefly. I am going to drop the one cost root seeds here. I think that is good to drop. It costs one, which is annoying when I have cards that cost three. So we'll do that. Okay, 105 remaining. I don't think we do anything with it. We stay on this shard level and we're moving on. It's important. I want to take nine damage from the divinity so that I get ahead more on Steelworker's armor. Because we're going to be slow. We're going to be strong on Seraph, but that sweep that we cannot disable is going to be threatening. So I will take Seraph on at 100 out of 100 here. Yes, moving on. A very interesting setup. That Railhammer is doing huge work, by the way. We're going to blast Seraph. He is zero fear. Seraph does not frighten me in the least. Reinforce, sure. We just immediately get an extra chunk of armor here. That's pretty good. I'm not afraid of... I'm not afraid of Seraph. I'm just not. It is an important piece of information. We're going to blast mid-floor a little bit. Set that guy to dead. I will take a root seeds there. I do think I want to just play the Queen Zimpling. And then we will preserve thorns. I mean, I'm going to send it on middle floor. Just kill that dude. I think that's pretty good. I also think that it's good to clear this floor. So we'll just do it. It keeps this imp alive. 
and I will... I'm going to put the spike in the back here, actually. Yes, because I want that rage to offset the sap. So, okay, he goes middle. Of course he does. Great news. I do think we... Root seeds that are free. Root seeds that are free. This is not the last stand you're looking for. Although it's okay, I suppose. I can click the ritual last stand if I want. I'll play it later. I'd rather just click the ritual in this moment. And then we... Queen Zimpling here. Oh, we get another ritual is pretty good. I actually think this is a great opportunity for Glimmer. Believe it or not. What am I bringing back here? Oh god, Preserve Thorns. I don't want it. I think Glimmer is pretty good here. Yeah, I'm gonna Glimmer here. There's a reason. If I can keep this Queen Zimpling alive a little longer, I might bait Sap on him. Yeah, like this. That is a beautiful turn. I fully baited the Sap. Excellent. I will reinforce in front still, despite the fact that the back, I guess, has more armor. Well, I don't know. You might as well do the back, right? It's weird, but sure. We'll click it. 75 armor. That's pretty good. Glimmer. I... Can I save him? 50-50? 32? He almost lives? Unreal. Wow. Okay, well... That's unfortunate, but it's fine. I am going to sting the hell out of this man. I actually can save him. Okay. I mean, I will. This Queen Zimpling is doing good work. I'm not afraid of Seraph at this point. Like, we're, we're, we're done. We are doing it. Oh, I almost horn... I almost killed him. Wow, it looks kind of like a... Ugh, it looks kind of like... Ritual, doesn't it? Tough. I can't save mid-floor. He is gone. That is fine. I'm just going to sting the hell out of the boss then. I will drop Glimmer now. I guess I'll shoot the boss. May as well. Take any extra damage we can get. I don't fear Sarah because he's not hitting me here, right? It's kind of whatever. It is whatever. I'm going to play the Imp out to draw a card. Is, what is more important? This last stand... Nah, it's the reinforce for sure. We just want to go to like 900 armor or something, whatever that is. Yeah, we reinforce this. Then we root seeds. Then we ritual. And then we just sting a whole bunch and it's fine. We'll probably play the last stand next go around. But for the moment, we are chilling. I just shoot a man to death. I just root seeds a whole bunch. And then I shoot this guy. We're, we're fine. We get through this. I have like 700 armor in the back. It's okay. okay. Unfortunately, I do draw both of them at the same time again. We hate to see it. I think this is probably my last stand, though. That's a big amount of damage to gain. Yeah, it turns out I like that one. I do think stinging downstairs is good. Let's just work damage into the boss where we can. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. What does Scholar give me? It could give me Last Stand. Or my hand could be full and I'm not actually thinking about it. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. I'm going to kill that man because it makes me feel better. Sure, sure, sure. Well, you know, it could have been better, I suppose. But fine, whatever. Shoot the boss. Whatever. I think we're okay. <laughs> Here I was all worried. Yeah, it's fine. I add 444 armor to my floor in the last turn. We're okay. This is the kind of accelerating you're looking for, which is cool. That sure is kind of exactly what you're looking for with my 900 armor in the back there. Yeah, we're fine. I mean, obviously Steelwork gets punched a little bit, but it's okay. The rage go the armor goes in the back, the rage goes in the back, it's fine. Again, Seraph, not the threat. Not the threat. The threat here is... What's his name? This guy, Divinity. Because he sweeps and I can't stop his sweep, it's a concern. It is a big concern. It's actually really good to see the spike on this turn. We will Queen Zimpling up top. I mean, on middle first. Draw me a card. Cool. Uh, it is Steelworker in front of Windleton. It's weird because I'm taking nine, so I only gain the nine here. So a little annoying, but I will immediately drop a pretty decent 
Spike of the Hellhorn here. Just take the full number. I don't need these other cards. Right? Not last stand yet. Yeah, we just take the full number. It's something. 49 by 2, it's good. This will at least keep us kind of at the same level in armor, which is good. I am going to play the Queen Zimpling on bottom. It's good to draw around. I do think we take the Reinforce immediately. No questions asked. I don't love it, but I think it's important. We're playing all of our armor into Windleton here for good reason. I'm going to sting bottom because I might just be able to kill that guy. I lose the Ritual, unfortunate, but I do have a second one, so I'm not out of it yet. Yeah, I have to play that Ritual now. That's a correct choice. With the three Root Seeds here, we do clear the floor. That's good. I wish to preserve Thorns downstairs, kill a man. We double Sting middle here to kill that man. Then we play the Imp, which gets the damage here. And I think it's correct to work on shooting this guy here. And then I play everything, right? I can get him down to 70. I mean, he's super dead as is, which means I should instead pop the spikes dude on the back of the bottom. Good. Great news, actually. As long as Steelworker doesn't die, we're okay. Good. This is fine. I will... What's my turn looking like? What is this Impish Scholar hitting here? Potentially this Preserved Thorns, which I don't love. I will shoot in the front, actually. I think that'll be good. And then that lets me sting the boss a bunch. I do want to triple Root Seeds up here. I do want a Queen Zimpling down bottom. It's good. I can sting up top, so I'm not afraid of this guy. Although I think I'm just gonna sting the boss at this point. We'll shoot this guy upstairs. Right. No, we actually still kill, right? 77 of the 10s, right? This is 154, 164, which is like 4 over his HP, which is actually perfect. So I just shoot the boss. We just want him to perish to the best of our ability. I will hold the Impish Scholar. I think that is correct. Curses feel bad. I will just eat this curse damage on turns where I draw the Reinforce. I think this is too important to skip. Oh no, my curse damage. Honestly, the ritual plus curse damage here is fine. Actually, is it better to just ritual ritual? Hold up. I actually think the double ritual here is better. So in this case, I'm going to do something weird. We are going to just double sting this mini boss. Actually, I'm going to sting once in front to kill him. Great. Honestly, good. In fact, that's an obviously an unfortunate miss, but I think it's actually still worth it. Yeah, I mean, we hit the Reinforce again on this turn. 204 is plenty. Good. Could have played that Imp, didn't want to. I am just going to sting this man to the best of my ability. Unfortunately, I cannot shoot him, but he at least doesn't give me a curse on this turn, which is pretty good. Uh, this is a great turn. Just ritual, ritual... We sting the mini boss to death, which is probably acceptable. Well, I should sting the other mini boss, maybe. I'm gonna sting this guy on front, actually, because I don't want his spikes. I will take triple root seeds. That's good. I'm also going to sting the extinguish guy on middle. Cool. We're looking okay. I'm gonna take these one damage vengeful cards if they end up on bad turns. Well, it doesn't, so it's fine. Whatever. We just keep loading up this floor to the best of my ability. I do think this is going to just be my Impish Scholar turn. Spike is great. Happy to see it. Very cool. I'm going to sting down bottom and then just shoot that man out. I will shoot the man, the extinguish out on middle, I believe. That's good. We will sting, sting, root seeds, and spike. Looking good. I don't think we're pre-relentlessing this, which is also just fine with me. We have 245 armor, so now is the time of Ritual of Battle Last Stand, which is exceptional. We just take that. We have the stats. We are winning. Good job. Great job, team. Cool. Uh, we're fine. We easily get through this. Yep, good job. Take some damage, but I'm not really concerned. I just sting the guy out. It's no biggie. I am going to shoot this man. Well, actually, the ritual is just better. 
Sure, whatever. Great job, click the cards, cool. All right, well done, cool. A tough run, actually. Not as obvious as you might think. The reinforced maybe is not something that people click. I could see that being the issue here, right? I could see the problem being, you don't look at reinforced with a single steelworker and go, yeah, that's my run, right? That's actually kind of risky, right? But I saw that and I said, yeah, our survivability is our biggest concern here, so we need to answer it. And that answers it. Obviously, we managed to pull it off for Divinity. We see that rail hammer, it helps. We'll go to the challenge here. We see the rail hammer, it helps. But yeah, look at this. It does not surprise me at all that most of the runs are right square in this spot because this is the comfort zone of a Wendleton run that just does fine. I want to see the submitter, so fish. Let's find out who submitted this. Where'd you lose? This was a loss on Harpy's Guard, so it's Crystal Cloak. Let's see, what were you running? You did the pivot. Oh, but you had Thorn Lord. Okay, so that's interesting. No Strangler. You probably took a bunch of damage, right? Or maybe you were fine and then almost killed the boss and then got Shadow Realmed. That's kind of unfortunate. Survivability is still the problem. Awoken Hollow with only Glimmer as and Awake as your heals. Yeah, I don't think that's going to be it. It also forces you to go space here, which is not great. So I think the right choice is to not do this. But I can see how you might get baited into that. So, all right, let's look. All right, here's the submitter. This is an Arcus death, as I suspected. First thing in my question mark is, do you have the reinforce? You do not. Wildwood Sap is not a bad pick here. I'll be honest with you. Regen is an answer to this run as well. You have an Awake in your opener. And they do show you the double stack here. You had to duplicate this, right? You had to duplicate this because you needed to be at around 30 regen to really throw Arcus for a loop. But I, you know what? You're onto something here. This is genuinely a functional line, and I think that it doesn't get as much credit. I obviously picked my line because I had a steelworker, right? But if you don't have that steelworker or you skip it for some reason or whatever, then I think genuinely you want to go the regen route is the other solution. Now, the obsession with the Husk Hermit here, I don't know. I mean, especially when you have the Windleton sweep already. So you picked Strangler to boot, which means why would you take the Husk Hermit? This just seems odd. I will give you, it has a lot of HP, so maybe it's a good target for the regen, but you haven't gone to a steel shop yet. Kind of weird. I don't know how I feel about this actually, right? I think what I probably would have done is gone with the line that has, I mean, you have the ritual, right? You do have the ritual, but you haven't leaned into the ritual here. So the resonant shard is pretty weak. This is just a, yeah, this is the case of spread too, too thin, right? You haven't duped either of the core cards here, which is ritual or wildwood sap. You went to other things. And I think that skipping the dupes here is actually a critical mistake. You need at least two of one of these. Because you clicked Resonant Shard, I think you should have gone one cost ritual and duped that. If you had done like me and taken the Light's Gift, then I think you could have gone Wildwood Sap because you'd be prepping for Relentless, right? Purely Relentless prepping. At that point, then, all you need to do is go to one of those steel shops and pick up plus 25, plus 25, and you, I think, get enough HP on your front line that you make it. So that's pretty good. I actually think what I probably would have done myself is something like us Kermit's infusion into something. A little interesting. I didn't even do my frontline infusion until ring eight. So this is a little aggro. I mean, you're, I guess you're at 55. That's not that high, but yeah, you just got shadow realm. You didn't even hit the boss, right? It's kind of unfortunate. You got run down because again, you're just taking so much damage here. You didn't take the lights gift. So you can't clear quick enough. So I see why this falls apart. I uh, And it makes sense to me. I think we cleaned it up quite a bit though. Let's see, the other loss is here. Same kind of situation. Again, I don't think they've hard committed enough into their survivability line. Animus of Speed, that's pretty tough, champ. That's tough. Yikes. Well, okay, fair. Let's go look. Cool, so this is a win. This person did three rituals. Cool, they committed. Yeah, run looks extremely similar. They've done a lot of other stuff besides what I did. They went in on this in an Animus of Will, which is fine. I think this is a fine approach. You pivot on, oh, you just take Thornlord, right? Yeah. 
yeah, if you just take Thornlord here, I think that this run makes sense. This is a good demonstration of the other line being successful here. I do think this is slightly weaker than what I did simply because we do not have a spell starter, but it's fine because we saw the Queen's Tail, right? So it works out. Obviously, this wins. Cool. Great. Glad to see it. They hard committed to the ritual like I suggested. Neat. Next one. This is me. I'll talk about me in a bit. Another win. Let me just see what you did. Again, self-infused steelworker. I like that line. They did something similar to me. Duped the ritual. Run looks extremely similar. Yeah. Cool. They have a last stand. I don't think they took the reinforce, did they? No, but they didn't take the reinforce, they took the alloy, which, and with the remove consume on an alloy, this generates enough armor to get through Arcus, which lets you build up exactly the same line for the divinity. Looks fine. Cool. Gabriel starts scoring higher. You can see that this is entirely due to shards here. They held over a ritual. Kind of an interesting choice. What in the hell? Volatile gauge? I mean, look... Look, you win, okay? You won. I will give you that you won. But you made this so hard on yourself? Hold over, awake? I mean, you're relying on this volatile gauge at this point. This is an unreal run. This is probably a really entertaining run to watch, but this is also extremely ballsy. This is just send it and hope for the best kind of nonsense. <laughs> Right? This is just wild. What a weird run. Okay, that's interesting. What did this person do? Let's see. Steelworker Hollow. That's pretty interesting. Only reason this person scored very high is because they went real high on shards. I'm a little sad that no one else seemed to go ham on the, what's it called? The Wildwood Sap, which totally would have worked. This is a real strange line. You're comboing Hollow with Steelworker? I mean, I guess you do have the rail hammer eventually, but I guess you probably get a little saved on the divinity because blank pages probably really helped you here. This is a really weird run as well. You just went ham on shards. This is one of the reasons I don't like high shard runs because you just kind of send it on some weird stuff. And like, meanwhile, let me go look at mine. This run just looks so clean, right? We just, we found a strategy. We played into the strategy. The strategy wins, right? We took the ritual to one and we duped the ritual because I skipped the resonant shard. We took light's gift just to make it comfortable. We take multi strike here. I would have still been fine if I had whiffed because I held on to that animus of will through the mid game just in case I didn't see the ring four hit, which meant I would have done animus of will with a steelworker infusion behind Windleton Thornlord, right? So the run still would have worked, right? We hedged our bets perfectly. We set up because we got the quick, we just set up the Steelworker line that I discussed, played a bunch of good cards. The Glimmer ended up not really even being necessary. It was a real comfort pick. You take this because, well, you might not see quick, so you need some kind of backline solution or you're going to get blasted. So this is a good choice, I think. I did use it on Seraph a couple times to bait his sap a bit, which was fine. Hornbreak is a good card, it turns out. Otherwise, we play Rituals, last in when we can, reinforce when we can. Doublers are strong. The run is straightforward. I think that we've cleaned this up considerably. This run looks good. This run looks well articulated, well planned. I think at every point in the run, I have massive confidence in my victory simply because I've hedged against all of the possibilities. And this kind of also goes back to why I think 100 shards is such a good meta in general, because you can do this. Despite the fact that, sure, I have a really high win rate at the game overall, I think that I'm not... I'm not starved for strategy. I'm not starved for difficult decisions. In fact, I think because of the game's kind of current state, I'm able to create well-defined runs like this that at the end I can look at and say, look at how well I planned everything. This feels good to me as I just smash my keyboard because I'm moving my hands around. This feels good to me because this rewards me for all of this decision making. This is a very well handled run. 
And that's not me patting myself on the back. That's me kind of describing why I made these decisions. Even things like that Animus of Will that never makes it to the end of this run. Really important consideration. There's a coin flip on ring four, and that coin flip determines everything else about the run. And because of this choice, we are good. We're fine. We just remove her if we don't need her. It's beautiful. And the rest of this, I mean, we take everything. We take, like, no damage in the entire run at all. The run is extremely chill. It's great. We just relentless kill every boss. 59.5.905. Beautiful. And I'm going to leave you there. I think this is a really good one. I think this is worth watching, worth thinking about why I chose each choice I made. And just really good. So we'll leave it there. And yeah, hey, all right, thanks a lot for watching this. I really appreciate your time. Brings us up to a 21 win streak, great news. As always, you can give the video a like or a dislike if you want. You can subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. And stay tuned for what's next. Take care, folks. Hi-ya, yes.